I'm Joe Stiltner, Manufacturing Manager with S3 Division of Livingston and Haven. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our latest project with this Bosch Pick and Place system. What we have here is a Bosch two axis pick and place system. It has two Z axis, one X axis. Uh, it picks the parts out of a press and it puts them in a test bath. From the test bath, it puts them on a conveyor of good product or bad product. It knows in the drive system on where to put them. Uh, we had a few challenges with this project. Uh, what this was doing was it was replacing some 1980s technology that they had in place. It uh, wasn't very dependable or reliable. Um, we used the Bosch pick and place system and we designed the cabinet also uh, using Bosch drives. A couple of our challenges with this project was uh, a short outage window to reduce production downtime for the customer. Uh, we was only given three days of downtime to actually pull the old system out, put the new system in, and have it all integrated with their equipment. Uh, to achieve that, what we decided to do was set the machine up fully functional here in our shop in Charlotte and do a complete runoff and test out of it so that we could just simply remove the old, put the new in, and it'd be ready to go. In doing that, we actually had the machine back in operation within a day and a half of the outage. Uh, we actually done the third day was training. We done that while they were in production. So we put them in production in half the time that we was allotted to be down. We had to custom design the adapter plates and all to have the customer's grippers attached to our product uh, to maintain the same functionality that they have existing already. Uh, along with that, we had two other computer systems that had to communicate back and forth with our computer system. So there was a, a lot of communication back and forth with their automation people and our automation people to make sure that all three of these systems were communicating properly. One of our other challenges we encountered was the old system had a large plate to accommodate the motors and the pneumatic valves and everything for the ring and pinion style that we were replacing. Uh, and going to the ball screw style that we had, we had to create a couple of uh, custom plates to accommodate the pneumatics, but it cleaned it up a whole lot and reduced the area, the weight, and the bulkiness of the new machine versus the old machine. This improved the accessibility of the machine and the equipment and made it a lot more maintenance friendly. In anticipating the challenges of having to do a runoff here in Charlotte, what we done was we used our Bosch extruded aluminum product to build a frame replica of their machine to the exact height and the exact width of, so that we could set the panel in place put the gantry up and it would be exactly like it is on their machine today. That helped facilitate the ease of removing the old one and putting the new one in and everything matching up perfect. In Bosch being part of our core vendor solution, we was able to utilize them with their servo drives for the ball screws, use them in our pneumatic valves and in the drives in the cabinet to run the servo drives. Uh, along with that, we used their MGE product as our test fixture, so this encompassed a whole Bosch turnkey solution for the customer. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for many more S3 success stories to come. <laughs>